What's going on guys? I am here at Damon Clayton again back with another video on what has sold during the lockdowns during the coronavirus. I know sales have been slow for me, probably have been slow for other people. Hopefully I can show you guys some items that sold. Um, I didn't even count them up to see what all sold over the weekend. I think this was like Thursday till Sunday or Friday till Sunday, something like that. So let's just get into it and go over it and see what sold. First item right here was a Ralph Lauren custom fit rugby polo. Sold it for only 10 bucks, buyer paid plus shipping. And uh, just like my last video, notice Solvia promoted listing. I've been doing that. It has been helping me get a lot more sales. They only take a little bit of percentage, like 60 cents, 40 cents, 80 cents, something like that. Cool little shirt here. I got this for like a buck at a thrift store. So not a huge sale. Probably should have listed it for 15. But yeah, that was my mistake right there because I posted another one that's similar to it. Actually, this one was a big pony one. I posted this. It sold the same night for 16 plus shipping. Not not via promoted listing. Super nice piece right here. It had the big pony on it, Great Britain. Little hole right there, but I put it in the pick, so uh, they still bought it, and uh, we Gucci. So we're at $26. Actually, this makes us, whoops, this makes it 36. Leapfrog, my first leap pad interactive books. Got this from a Goodwill for like two bucks. Sold it for 10 plus shipping, not a uh, not a good item I'll get. I did get this back when uh, I was still learning and stuff like that. You know, some things, you know, you don't get that much profit on, but it was brand new and, you know, I figured somebody's gonna buy it. You know, simple money, took three picks, you know, got the money, probably get a good review. So keep it moving with that. That was 36 total so far. Uh, the 12th man, this was a nice find. It was 12 bucks. Um, I pay shipping, so it was medium mail. So, you know, I sold it for like, 10 bucks right here i got a bunch of dvds like 12 dvds for like two bucks a pop and just one dvd set i sold for like 50 dollars that i got for five from the same load so a lot of these dvds are just going to be profit from here on out so you never know if you go to goodwills you know usually i never find anything in the dvd section and i just randomly went at night and they had like 12 dvds that were brand new sealed and i was looking them up on ebay and each one was going for like 10 to 16 each so we're at 48 bucks rare vintage monopoly star wars collector's edition 1997 thought this was a rare piece but it really wasn't put it in the title and helped it sell sold for 15 bucks got this a while back from a facebook market find where i got like eight board games for 50 bucks uh, i'm in the profit now and i still have like six games left to sell including like a scooby-doo and a transformers brand new that'll give me like 60 to 80 bucks right there but Nice little find here. You can find stuff like this on Facebook Market. Find the rich people that are trying to get rid of it, and you can find some nice stuff. So add 15 bucks onto that. 63. Men's Tommy Bahama Cotton Orange Polo, 100% silk, sold via promoted listing. 17 bucks. I pay the shipping. It was like five bucks, so we made about 12 on that. Got this thrifted also for it was like a dollar, two dollars. Pretty much any clothing item I get, 90. 99% of the clothes I get, they're anywhere from quarter to $2 max because I thrift it at those prices. And I rarely get stuff at Goodwill just because I find stuff like this, Time Bahama 100% Silk, for about a dollar. So crazy find there, a uh, good find right there. Um, yeah, let's add 17 to it and we are at $80 so far. Vintage Mr. Clean, 17 bucks plus the shipping sold via promoted listing. You guys see the trend here. You guys are smart seeing the trend here. This was a super nice piece. I was low key gonna keep it, but I'm just not really a fan of Mr. Clean. So I didn't really feel the need to rock it. Um, and I don't have any like green shoes to match it, but it, it is a cool shirt. Maybe I should have kept it cause I'll probably never find something like this again. You never know, but um, got that for like a buck, sold it for 17. Not a bad little find there. We we're at 97 total. This was a simple mossy oak sold via promoted listing boys. Women's jacket camo, 10 bucks plus and they paid for shipping. This was a nice little jacket also from the thrift. Uh, got this for about a buck. Sold it for 10. Not huge, but uh, as you can see, these little bad boys are adding up. We're at 107 now. We're gonna go up to Houston Texans, the shittiest team uh, in Houston and uh, new owners of the worst trade ever, trading away DeAndre Hopkins for David Johnson and signing Randall Cobb. Straight ass clowns. And I uh, was a Texans fan last year. I was even more of a Texans fan than I'd ever been. So I just rocked with the team and you know, now it's just like, uh, 
you know, gotta find a new team. Let's go Chiefs. <clears throat> this was just a simple little $8 piece. Got this for a buck, sold it for eight. Not crazy profit. Got the unit sold. So we are at 115. Simple little iPhone 4 case. I got this for one dollar sold it for 12 plus shipping so it was like eight or nine bucks not crazy profit but you know i found like six of these brand new at a thrift store and i just got all of them because they were so cheap solvia promoter listing this solvia promoting listing is helping me a lot because you can notice that of all my items i think only two haven't had it yeah plus 12 we're at 127 okay right here it mends the north face long sleeve also solvia promoting listing 15 bucks plus shipping that was an error. I wanted it to be 15 plus shipping and they paid, but it was like super light, like seven ounces. So I only paid like four bucks. So about 11 on that. I got this for a dollar at the thrift as well. Very uh, cheap you know, investment to make 10 bucks. A good piece right there. Look out for North Face stuff. And uh, let's head it on there. 142 in sales so far. Also another nice find, Air Jordan 15. Gotta love to see it. Plus shipping sold via Pro promoted listing this was a cool shirt found it at the thrift as well for a buck this piece was just cool found it and i was like damn had to get it had to flip it got the money let's move on 157 um had it posted man i've had this shirt for so long sold via promoted listing as well buyer did pay the shipping 12 bucks nice little sale there got this for a buck from the thrift i mean we're just flipping because a lot of people they'll get those items you know for five bucks and they'll sell it for, you know, 30. Cool, $25 profit. Sometimes if they pay the shipping, $20 profit. So let's just say $25 profit, but you know, you might have to wait a little while on the item to sell versus you get these cool little items that, you know, you can get for cheap and that everyone wants. You know, you can sell four in one day, boom, 40. You know, you can sell 10 in one week, boom, extra 100. Finding these pieces, you know, if you can find a good thrift store and get these for a dollar, two dollars, and just sell for 10 to 12, sometimes 13 to 15, easy $10 coming in all day. Let's add 12 to that, so we're at 169. Another nice little Jordan t-shirt, uh, eight bucks. They paid shipping right here. I think I found this the same day, could be mistaken. I don't find Jordan too much at the thrift. It's just a nice little Jordan shirt. Uh, Jordan stuff sells grab it if you find it plus eight we're at 177 and that's in I believe only two days on here we started on March 26 this was a super nice shirt it was a gap men's rugby style 12 bucks plus shipping they paid 13 uh, this is very heavy quality is very nice very warm they're gonna actually like this piece a low key looking at this being an XL man I should have kept this low key what was I thinking I don't know sometimes I try not to get attached to my stuff but this was a super nice piece right right there man hope they enjoy it though uh add 12 bucks to it we we're at 189 got that for a dollar at the thrift so not a bad find got this item also for a dollar at the thrift uh sold it for 15 plus shipping i believe i sold this within the day i posted it just a nice little mlb shirt i always pick up nba mlb uh, any kind of sports stuff i just always pick it up because you know there's crazy fans and uh those fans are gonna buy stuff so 169 179 i don't know if i added this i don't think i did so we we're at 204 uh, 204 still at two days not too bad north face i don't know i had this for 20 plus shipping for so long and i just kept having to drop it no one wanted it no one was making offers and i just dropped it i believe somebody i uh, had an offer i sent out a 12 dollar offer somebody accepted it via promoted listing i mean man i even tried it on because i was like man i should just keep this piece i mean look at it. it's got the zip pockets the zip and it's reversible man like got the brown when you flip it over you got brown or blue so i mean super nice piece i was surprise man some of this columbia north face i found there it just doesn't go for what you think it would go for like i've got tons of columbia zip up jackets and fleeces and they're just not selling i got them listed for 10 11 bucks and they're in beautiful condition and you know i just i don't know they're just they're not selling other people i see they're selling them for like 20 bucks plus shipping 25 plus shipping you know, 18 plus shipping. I got mine listed at 12 bucks plus shipping, none. Yeah, still look out for them. Um, they still do sell. I don't know though, the Columbia stuff's been super slow. I don't know about that. Somebody leave a comment if you know why. Great pair of jeans right here, LA Idol. It is a brand to look out for. Um, I got these for a dollar at the thrift. I'm actually gonna start looking at women's jeans. I suggest you guys doing that too. I have about 12 pairs 
Um, they should all go for minimum 20 bucks. So that's like 240. And I probably invested like 40, 30 bucks, maybe, maybe less, maybe 20. Sold these for 20, sold via promoted listing. So, you know, invest a dollar, sell it for 20. Very nice. And a little tip, what you guys want to do is if y'all are thrifting, just look at the back. Like if you see stuff like that, like cool designs and stuff like that, you want to like check out the brand, you know, look it up on there. Stuff like this, very cool, catches the eye and uh, people like to buy that stuff. So 236, not too bad. Now this was in one of my other videos. Um, I got this at Goodwill for $6. It was a Robert Graham shirt, 30 bucks, sold via promoted listing. Uh, I paid the shipping on it. This was a nice shirt. I learned this from Ben at Ready Set Resale Robert Graham. I just seen it, I was looking at it, I seen it and I was like, man, the collar looked cool, looked at it, saw Robert Graham, boom, snatched up for the six, sold it for 30 free shipping. So look out for Robert Graham. They do sell it sold pretty quick sold within i think like five days or something like that or sold within the week so not too bad 266 total this was a cool piece it was funny because i didn't know if i was gonna buy this in the store because there was only like four listed and there was only like one that had sold i think so i was kind of just like just thinking about old items like oh is this gonna sell how long am i gonna sit on it for and you know this sold within like a week or two i think i got it for six bucks and it was five or six bucks and i sold it for 28 or 29 and they paid shipping it was just some kind of speaker circuit something i actually have no idea what it is i just sold it as open box because it was like brand new um on the goodwill tag it said like brand new out of the box we just don't have the box or something so not a bad little find right there glad i did pick that piece up we're at 295 the last piece yeah it looks like we're breaking 300 happy about that last piece also also sold via promoted listing I'm gonna go back and look and see the percentage of everything that sold if I didn't do promoted listing I probably would have not sold that stuff you know try it out on a couple items I have it on I have 400 and like 17 items in my shop I have it on every item this was just a simple uh, men's fleece 2xl uh, just nine bucks plus they paid the shipping on it uh, got this for a buck, sold it for nine. Not huge profit, but they all did add up. It was a very nice piece. Um, you can you can get a lot of nice stuff from uh, my store. If you guys do want to go to my store, check it out. All you have to do is type in, I think, DA Clay underscore 9968. I'll just put it in the, the description. Yeah, let's add that up. So we did what? What did I say? It was $9.99, right? I think it sold for nine bucks plus nine. So boom, we break over uh, 300 we land at 304 so i mean 304 over the weekend not too bad considering it is slow too on a bad time that's averaging 1200 a month just on the side and then you have you know fees and all that but 1200 it sells on a slow month that's pretty solid i really want to get it up to about 600 a week Okay, we're gonna go to this real quick. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. We have twenty-one items. Three of four divided by twenty-one. So each item had an average of about fourteen dollars and fifty cents. And out of 21 items, we had, let's see, we're going to see how many has sold via promoted listing. So 21 items, we had one. So 12 out of 21, so about half. So, I mean, look at that. You know what I'm saying? If, hell, let's say you got 40 items, you know, and only 10 sold. If you had sold via promoted listing on it, it might sell via promoted listing. So... Hope you guys liked the video though. Give me a subscribe. Give me a like. If you guys like the content, if you guys like the information, if you got any questions, put it in the comments below. But always, peace out.